Yo, what's up guys? It's me, it's me, it's Action Figure Freak once again. And for this weekend, I got you, after all this time, again, another Marvel Stunt Squad set. This time we got Captain America vs. Thanos. And if I see this right, it's on the Avengers Tower or something similar like that. So I would say let's just put this thing out of the box and let's see what we got here. Taken every piece out of the box. Here we got our whole pieces for the set. Here are a few stickers I will apply in a few seconds. And our Captain America gummy figure, which looks amazing. Just look at this. Shield takes a little bit away, but why not? Why not? And here we got Thanos with these really, really weird eyes. I really like looking at these, they look interesting. Uh, so yeah, let's just apply stickers and build this thing. As seen on some of the last clips, left isn't the hand to go for me, but yeah, it's also November. Just kidding. Uh, let's go into assembling this thing step by step. Let's change the camera direction a little bit. So first up we got a base plate like this. Then we have the first part of the Avengers Tower. Put that a little bit back and move it into place. Should get stuck in there pretty good. Still a few pieces left. These two. Uh, mostly okay that blue thing we pull back the whole way and put into there I think like this no no like this uh, attach the sh kind of shield of Captain America this is a play feature which will get triggered later then we have the Avengers logo coming here into the front and yeah then we got some obstacles uh we got the stone squads cube i don't get why we didn't get two stickers more but whatever uh and i think these belong <laughs> to spots like here that that is basically a power infinity stone should be the power stone that's Pretty weird and pretty cool at the same time they included this so let's just pull it over here and we got our figures so I think the Thanos figure should go on top here not the Captain America and all these figures have a little gap on the back where you can uh, connect them to the launcher so the thing is you really just pull them back release them and shoot them also basically why the set don't have to hold that good so let's change the camera direction a little bit and try to shoot at some stuff first uh, we got the Avengers logo I think that should trigger something okay that, that that was really bad let's try this again in real time and more more strength like this didn't do anything <laughs> I think we should go from a little bit further away. Can't see cap now. Like this, okay. That almost destroyed the tower. Uh, I really want to get the Avengers logo. Because I think that triggers a lot of stuff. Come on, okay. We didn't hit it, we didn't hit it. Whatever. Let's try doing it manually. Okay, you gotta go with a lot of power into there, but I get it now. So, I wondered while building why we have that button here. And it really just makes this here. And if Thanos stands on it. And with a lot of power, of course, he falls down with the first hit. We also got something here. And yeah, that shield back there. 
gets triggered by that button which also hits the Thanos button. It's really satisfying to see it and I really like the fact they play in like Cap using his shield there. It, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Marvel Superhero Mashers which was pretty cool theme they did for kids back then and yeah here is also a gap I don't know by which it's powered okay also by that uh, which yeah destroys the whole tower <laughs> uh, because that's what heroes do they destroy the whole tower to kill Thanos or everything else okay this is really pressed hardly into here but I really don't see it getting Smashed by that figure. I'm gonna throw it. Okay, that, that <laughs> was too bad. Okay, it works, but it's it's really weird. I, I really like these playsets, but the only problem I have with these is really you either get that much much friction on the figure, that much power while you're throwing it, uh, that you destroy the whole set and everything collapses, or you don't have enough power to do anything on there and aiming isn't that easy with these but all in all it's a pretty pretty cool set and I mean just look at it the accessories the playability it's really toyetic what's on there and yeah first first up I just bought these because I thought I can yeah kind of custom these into Marvel Legends diorama pieces I think these really really look cute. Uh, I really like the idea of these sets and you still can get them into a position that they are not used for playing. Like putting some sticky tags in there so it won't fall down. Remove that Captain America shield. I mean it's a single piece. That would be pretty easy and you can put it somewhere. Put these figures on there. Some metal fix or any other figures can do so much stuff with it and I really like this. So this was everything for this week and I hope I can see you next week. So yeah, everything for this week. Goodbye.